if you want you can use reverse direction as you can see white orange connected to the pin one in the left side and white orange connected to the pin three in the left side in the right side this means that we connected pin one of the left device to the pin two of pin three of the right device again orange connected to pin two orange connected to pin six white green connected to pin three such as this uh, for example picture this pin out white or uh, green okay this is the reverse white green connected to the pin three and here white green connected to the uh, for example uh, you can look at here white green pin pin three connected to the uh, pin one white green again blue connected to the blue because as you can see here blue is a pin four connected to pin four such as me and after that white blue connected to white blue five pin five to pin five green connected to the green pin six to pin two white brown white brown 77 and finally eight to eight this is a crossover cable now you learn about the uh, crossover cable and also the straight through cable but we have another question the question is that how we can understand okay that which cable is good is suitable for connecting which two device to uh, get together the first and academic answer is that first you need to find the pinout of that device according to the pinouts you can connect the device with same pinout such as this example switch a and switch a to each other with the straight through with the crossover cable when you are using the same pinout you need the uh, crossover cable let me to write here for example assuming that we are connecting the n one nic to another nic means the one network interface card to another network interface card both sides are using the pin one two for ticks and pin three and c uh, three and six for rx this is this means that we need to use the crossover cable it's obvious and after that assume that we are connecting uh, for example two hub to each other you will learn about the hub don't worry now we are talking about the cable or connecting devices together because of that again we need the crossover cable or when you are connecting a switch to switch or when you are connecting a rotor uh, to rotor okay we need the a crossover cable also when you are connecting the hub to switch according uh, to uh, this information we need the crossover cable let me to write here here we we need to use the crossover okay cable and also in some cases we need the straight through cable we can write them here for example here straight through let me to write this is the straight through cable straight through cable we are using all of this information in our scenarios this is so important for us when you are connecting the nic to a hub okay because they are using different pinout because of that they need only the uh, for example a straight through cable you know that when you are using pin one two four, four send and the other device for example hub is using the pin one two three four receive this means that we need one straight through cable we need to connect pin one to pin one and pin two to pin two okay also when you want to connect your nic uh, to the switch you need again the straight through cable or when you need to connect the hub to a rotor look at here uh, between the hub and rotor we are using the different uh, pin out after that if you want to connect a switch to rotor you should know all of them because because you 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 will use this uh, features in the uh, for example your scenarios also let me to give you one another information it is useful maybe it's useful if you have a wireless okay this is a wireless access point okay you know that wireless access point has one or more than one uh, physical ethernet port uh, yes it has uh, the wireless interface but it has also wi the a wired or more than a more than one wired interface a wireless access points access point pinout is similar to the pc pinout let me to copy from here uh, you know that in pc we are using pin one two four seven and pin three and six uh, for receive let me to write here pin one two four seven and pin three and six uh, for receive if you want you can uh, you, uh, you can add it in uh, this table let me to review this uh, these two table nic to nic crossover cable then hop to hop crossover cable switch to switch crossover cable rotor to rotor crossover cable and hop to switch crossover cable here we can see one interesting 
uh, for example, result. And that result is, is when you are connecting the two same device to each other, you need to use crossover cable. For example, two NIC, two hub, two switch, two rotor. Also, you know that hub and switch are using a, a little different about the logic, but about the uh, physical uh, physique, we can say that the switch is, is one advanced hub. Because of that, hub and switch, as you can see here, are using the same pinout because of that we can say the hub and switch are the same device about the cabling here we have one result let me to review it if you are using two device from the same uh, for example type you need crossover cable okay after that if you are using different device nic hub nic switch or hub and rotor okay or switch and rotor you need the straight through cable two interesting results the first result says that uh, when we are connecting two device two similar device we need the crossword cable or when uh, we are using two different device we are using the straight through cable it's so easy but also we have one exception here that exception is that when you are connecting the nic means network interface card to a rotor as you can see here they are using the nic and rotor with the same pinout because of that you need the crossover cable here we have only one exception that exception is the between the nic and the uh, for example rotor look at this picture in this picture we can see when we need the straight through cable and when we need to use the crossover cable look at here when we are connecting a switch this is the icon of switch to a rotor this is the icon of rotor we need the uh, for example a straight through why because they are different devices okay different type devices again when we are connecting a, a computer or a server to a switch we need to use the straight through server is same as the uh, for example pc after that this is the icon of hub with only one arrow when we are connecting the pc to hub or server to hub again we need a straight through cable but about the crossover cable when we are connecting two switch to each other we need crossover cable when we are connecting hub to switch we need crossover cable as i mentioned before when we are connecting two hub to each other again we need the crossover cable when we are connecting two rotor to each other or two nic to each other we need the crossover cable and also when we are connecting a computer or nic to a rotor we need the crossover cable let me to show you in our scenarios we need to uh, in all of the scenarios okay follow this instruction how we can connect our devices to each other for example let me to show you here we have a hub this is a hub let me to add it. You will learn about the function here. I'm not going to talk about the function. We are talking about only the, uh, for example, connectivities and the connections, Ethernet links. This is a switch, as you can see, okay? And after that, let me to add one PC. This is a PC or, for example, two PC. After that, we have a rotor. This is a rotor, okay? And I'm going to show you how we can connect these devices to, uh, to each other. Also, we have another rotor. Let me to add another rotor. Look at here, I'm going to use the cables. This is the connections here. We have multiple type of connection. For example, this is the copper straight through. This is the copper crossover and this is the fiber. You can use fiber here. I'm going to talk about only the uh, copper cable, not the fiber. Look at here, when you want to connect the PC to hub, you need to select this cable, copper straight through. Okay, in real world also, you need to do the same thing. Look at here, I'm going to connect this PC to the hub, so easy. Okay, as you can see, now the connection is established. After that, if you want to connect the uh, PC to the switch, again, you need to do the same thing. As you can see here, we have a connection. Also, uh, let me to use the, uh, for example, straight through cable between a hub and switch. This is not correct. This is incorrect. Look at here. When you are using here, maybe in simulator, this is uh, this is a green and after some second this will be green but it's not correct in real world you will encounter with problem because of that you need to remove it and also you need to use the crossover cable in, mo in many cases in uh, some cases in simulator also you will have some problems of after that between the switch and rotor you need to use the uh, straight through cable as you know okay and here the reason that this link is 
uh, for example uh, red is not uh, related to the cable let me to enable this link you will learn about this don't worry this is the configuration about the configuration not about the cabling let me to remove it look at here now i enable this interface now everything is green okay after that if you want if you need to connect two rotor to each other again you need to use the crossover cable not the uh, for example the a straight through cable let me to add it again from this interface to this interface it's so easy don't worry about the red into the red icon because this is related to the uh, for example configuration not about the cable in all of the scenarios in this course we need to obey these rules when we are connecting two device with same type we need to use the crossover cable when we are connecting two device with different types we need to use a straight through cable and also when we are using the hub and a pc to, uh, uh, in one scenario and we need to connect these two devices to each other again we need uh, to use the crossover uh, cable as i mentioned before in the cat 5 or uh, for example cat 3 or uh, for example the older standards we used only the four a wire or two pair of the ethernet cable but after the cat 5e or enhanced 5 uh, for example cat 6 or higher we are using the all of the eight wire or uh, all of the four pair uh, uh, let me to show you the the straight through and also the crossover cable in these standards in these categories as you can see in the uh, for the uh, straight